Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today to do this fun colored pencil dragon project. We did do this in one of my Zoom classes and it was very popular and some people missed the class so we're going to create a video so that you can also uh, do the class if you would like. So we're going to start out. The supplies you need for this class are some drawing paper or just some plain white paper if you don't have drawing paper. Plain white paper will work fine also. Next you'll need a pencil to do your drawing, an eraser, and you can use the pink erasers you use for school or whatever eraser that you have there. Um, you'll definitely need a pencil sharpener today because we'll be doing lots of coloring with uh, colored pencils. So for colored pencils, you'll need a black colored pencil. And then you'll need three <clears throat> shades of a color. Like if I pick color, if I pick green, I want a dark green, a medium green, and a light green. If you decide you want an orange dragon, you will want to do a dark orange, a medium orange, and a light orange. Or if you want to do a blue dragon, you would do a dark blue, a medium blue, or and a light blue, and the, or if you want to do a purple dragon, you can do dark pur get a dark purple one, a medium purple, and a light purple. So you get to choose whatever color you want to do your dragon. Just make sure that you have a dark color, a medium color, and a light color of that same color. So um, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to draw today with a Sharpie so that you can, so video will pick it up really well and you can see it. But I recommend you draw yours with a pencil. That way you can erase any lines that you don't like. And plus when you finish then, you don't have a lot of Sharpie lines. You have a nice, um, it's better not to have all those Sharpie lines. So your dragon will look a little nicer with just using a pencil to draw. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and Get our paper out and put it in the landscape direction. Um, that's long ways. That's the best way for our dragon to fit on our paper today. Um, sometimes I do drawings or art when we use our paper in the portrait direction, which is this way, up and down. But today we're going to do landscape. So we are going to, uh, before we get started, make ourselves a guideline so that we can use that to help us get started with our drawing. Instead of just starting with a, somewhere on our paper, we're going to make ourselves a guideline. So you just take your paper and fold it gently over to the other side and line up your edges and just gently rub on the edge. Don't push it all the way down to the table because we don't want a hard crease. We just want a little faint line going down our paper to help us see where the middle is. All right, so now we're gonna start um, our dragon. We're gonna start by drawing his little horns that go all the way around his head. We're gonna start at the top and then we'll draw the rest of him, but we start with the horns first. So about the top of the paper, um, if I take my center line and just over to the side of the line, I'm gonna start with the top of my horn. I'm going to cross over this set center crease and go down just a little bit like that with a curved line. Then I'm going to go back up to that point where I started and do a curved line down the other side. This is like a curved triangle shape is all it is, but it doesn't have any bottom part. So that's all we're making is kind of like a curved triangle. And this one is pointing towards the top of our paper. Um, so then I'm going to draw one more in the front. So I'm going to start here uh, where I ended that one and just do a curve line up and then start there and do a curve line down parallel to that other line. That means it runs side by side without crossing over. We're just making it a little wider at the bottom than at the top. And if yours, you want to make yours more curly, you can do that. Um, you can add any details you want today on this project. Um, you, you can you can be very creative with this project so just want you to know that so start here uh, with, with our next horn we're gonna start here at the bottom and do a curve line up and then curve that one back down now those are the top three and then we have a couple that are pointing towards 
the right side of our paper, the back part of our dragon. So we're going to take, instead of going up with this one, we're going to go kind of towards the our right side of our paper. So you're just going to curve your line towards the back and then curve it down. And you're going to do that again with another horn. Curve it in another curved line. Now we have a couple more and they're going to be towards the bottom. They're going to face more towards the bottom of our paper. So we're just going to do that curved line. Come back up. Another curved line. There you go. So between some of these horns are going to be a little line to create like a flap, almost like maybe what a dragon would use to help him fly. And so I'm going to do between these two uh, triangles facing the back, right side of my paper, I'm just going to do a curved line connecting them to create that little flap in between the horns. Now if you want to add more and go all the way, go right ahead. You can do that. All right, so now we're going to work on his face. So I'm going to start where I left off up here at the top, and I'm just going to draw a straight line towards at an angle towards the, um, the edge of my paper, but I'm going to stop before I get to the edge. So I'm just going to do a, cur a straight line, and I'm going to stop a little bit before I get to the edge, maybe go a little farther. Now this is a little more tricky, but it's just some curved lines is all we're drawing. So we're going to curve our line down like we're going to create his nose. Then we're going to make a little curve out and we'll give him a little lip sticking out. And then we're going to curve underneath and another little curve. And now we're going to make his mouth. So we're going to curve again, curve in, curve out, kind of make him look like he has a little grin on his face. And then we're going to end his mouth with a little curved line, just like that. And then we're going to make his bottom jaw. So I'm going to start here where I started curving it down here. I'm going to start about right there. And just draw a straight line down, then I'm going to curve it under. Go straight towards his the back here. And then I'm going to curve down. And when I get to the horn, I'm going to stop go over the horn and start again on the other side. And there we go, that's the bottom of his neck. So that's just a big curved line. And then the top of his neck, I'm actually gonna start where that flap is between those two um, horns facing the right side of my paper. I'm gonna start there and just draw a curved line off the side of my paper, just like that. So now that's his neck. So now I get to add some details to my dragon. And so for his nose, I'm just going to make an upside down U shape. And then inside that U shape, I'm going to make a smaller, more like a flatter U shape. And that's going to be his nose. Then I'm going to make him some teeth. Now I'm going to add three teeth. You can add more if you would like more. But they're the same shape as those horns. They're just the smaller. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to curve down to a point and then curve back up and then we do that again make another tooth and I'm gonna make the back tooth just a little bit smaller now in this drawing they face towards the back I face these ones the other way that's fine you can face them any direction you would like so and you know what today I'm gonna be different and add a little tooth in the front too just to give them a little little character there so you can do that just as well. Some I've had some students make fire coming out of his mouth. You can do that if you want or out of his nose. That's totally up to you. So now we're going to create um, his eye. And we're going to take and see where you this horn, for the, the bottom of the first horn, that little corner there, and then that corner of that mouth. And we're going to go halfway in between those two. And we're going to start there with our eye. I'm going to make a little dot. That's where we're going to start our eye. So I'm just going to take and do a curved line. Kind of look like a, like I'm going to make it a rainbow. But at the end of the rainbow, I'm going to curve it over here like that. And then on the bottom, I'm going to make like an upside down rainbow. It matches the same shape, but it's like the opposite. So I'm going to go down and curve it down. Almost looks like a fish shape, kind of. And then I'm going to make a straight line down to, to for the back of his eye. And then I'm going to make the inside of his eye by making a curved line 
from top to bottom and then on this side a curved line from top to bottom. And that's like his iris, the iris of his eye. And I'm going to make the inside the pupil, so I'm going to do another curved line. His pupil looks a little different than ours. This is more the whole length of his eye. So just two more curved lines. And this is what you'll want to color in black later when you have your black colored pencil. I'm going to color it in with Sharpie just to so you can see it better. And then I'm going to make a little circle up here to create that light where the light is hitting his eye. And I'm just going to leave that white. I'm not going to touch that at all in my coloring. All right, and last detail we're going to add is on his face, we're going to give him what he looks like, um, little ridges on his nose. Kind of looks like his face is a little scaly. So we're going to just start here in that straight line. We're just going to curve it slightly. Curve three slightly curved lines. Okay, and that's it to our dragon. Now we, oh wait, I forgot. We can add, on your dragon, you can add a um, eyebrow, you can add eyelashes, whatever you would like. I usually add a fun little eyebrow, so I'm just gonna make a curved line. And then underneath I'm gonna make, almost like I'm making the, following that parallel. And then I'm going to point it this time, make it a little bit different eyebrow. Have fun with that. And then I'm going to just make another line inside that. Give him a little bit different look this time. All right. So, but you can make eyelashes. You can do your eyebrow different. Um, that just gives them some more character. All right. Now it's time to get coloring with our dragon. And we're going to start with our uh, lightest color first. Okay, so I'm going to do mine in green today, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my light green. I'm going to color my whole dragon except for his eye and except for his nose. But I'm going to color the whole, and his teeth. His teeth aren't going to be green. Those are going to be white later, so I'm not going to color those. And I'm going to color my whole dragon light green. And when I color with a colored pencil, I want to do short strokes close together and kind of push down so the color shows up um, nicely. Not push down too hard when your pencil is going to break, but just enough pressure to give a nice color on there. And then I'm going to just slowly color with short strokes close together and I'm following the direction of my dragon. I don't want to color an odd direction. I want to go in the direction of my dragon. It just makes for nicer coloring if we color in the direction of our whatever we're coloring, whichever direction it goes. So his nose is long, so I'm going to make those follow the shape of his nose and when I'm coloring. shape of his horns. I'm going to follow up to the shape of his horns and already my colored pencil is starting to run out. So this is why you need a pencil sharpener handy because you'll be having to probably sharpen your pencils a few times while you're doing this project. So I'm going to go ahead and get this sharpened and continue coloring. even color those flaps too. I'm going to uh, change those later. 
but we're going to start with everything being this light, our light color first. And you can turn your paper around when you need to color in a different direction. That's easier than trying to turn your hand around. Just easier to turn your paper. Now you can do this same project by using color crayons or even oil pastels. There we go. So now I'm just going to finish off his neck by coloring the direction of his neck. There we go. All right, so now I have all my light color done, so I'm gonna set that colored pencil aside. Now, when we do the rest now, we're going to layer our colors on here. And layering means we just color on top of the color that we already have. So I put down my first layer, which is my light color. Now I'm going to take my medium color, and I'm not gonna color over every area. I'm only gonna cover color over the areas where um, there is some shadow on my dragon. So if we can imagine the sun coming from this direction on his face, you'll notice all the lightest areas where the sun is hitting as my lightest colors. And those areas away on the other side where the sun is being or the light is being blocked, that's where my darkest areas are going to be. So we're going to start by adding our medium color uh, to some of those areas that are kind of shaded. Now I'm going to add some color here to the nose area because those are I want them to make it look like they're kind of bumpy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my medium and I'm just going to color above and I'm going to push hard a little bit harder so you can't so you can see it a little darker than my light. So I'm going to just color above, right above those heavy lines that I made there. And you would just color like this along your pencil lines. Anyway, there. And now I'm going to color around down by his nose. I'm going to actually color behind his nose a little bit. Just color in some of that area. Maybe come up. So when I'm done, his nose will look like it sticks out a little bit. I'm going to make it look like it's sticking out just by adding some dark and light areas. Okay. All right, and then underneath his nose a little bit, and then on his lower, on the lip side down here where the light's probably not hitting as much, I'm gonna put my medium green in there. And probably up the whole side of his face, I'm gonna color that medium green. 
because that's the farthest that's getting away from the, the light a little bit. And then under his eye, I'll probably color in a little bit heavier there. And then definitely on his bottom jaw, I'm going to color my medium gray on his bottom jaw, being careful not to color his teeth green. And under his lip, or under this top jaw. And then on his, underneath on his neck down there. Okay, so on a, the flaps in between the horns, I'm gonna color this medium green. Because those are kind of, makes them look like they're um, between his horns and the horns are creating shadows on them. All right, and then his neck, I'm gonna color medium green over much of his neck except probably the little farther corner. I'm kinda of gonna leave that area just because his head creates quite a shadow on his neck. So we're gonna do the medium green on most of his neck. I gotta sharpen it. What's cool is when you layer your colors like this, if you had a little bit of white paper showing through, your paper now gets more covered up and you won't have that white paper showing through either. And it just looks really nice when you're coloring. But adding light and dark areas to your drawings or colorings or art is called values. Those are values, the light and dark in your artwork. And adding those values will actually make your artwork so much more interesting to look at and that it becomes less flat. It doesn't just look like a flat picture, but it actually looks like it has some form to it. All right, and now I want to do a little bit of um, medium green on my horns. And I'm going to do the, the bottom side of these bottom ones. where the shadow may be. And just on the kind of the edge a little bit. Maybe halfway on some of these would be okay to do that too. So now we've got some medium green added to our picture. I might just add a little bit up here behind the eye a little bit. Just lightly adding a little bit in. Not a lot there. All right. So now we're going to put our medium color aside and we're going to get our darkest color now. And I'm going to get my dark green. We're, we're just going to continue adding more shadow, but we're going to color a little less than we did with our medium green. So I'm going to take this and on the face here, where I put that medium green, I'm going to put the dark green, but just a little bit less. But I'm going to do it right next to that line that I made, but still let some of my medium green show through. I just want to make that kind of dark there. Okay, and then on around the nose, we're going to add some darker green in there, but still let a lot of our medium green show. And then I'm going to do darker green right close to the mouth here. And underneath the eye. Maybe 
be underneath the eyebrow too. All right, and then on the bottom jaw, I'm gonna color um, dark green, probably pretty much the whole jaw, maybe the very bottom I'm not, but definitely close to the teeth and the upper lip there. And then I'm going to take dark green down the neck. I'm still using shorter strokes, kind of close together, just coloring over the, what I've already colored, filling in more. And I'm going to do, on the horns then, you're going to color right close to the edge with the dark, but you're not going to cover, you're going to color less than you did with your medium color. So it's just more the edges of your horns. Now I am pushing down a little bit harder on my dark color because I really want it to have a nice dark look. Okay. And then the flaps in between, I'm also going to color those dark green, my dark color. And they're starting to really make it look like they're inside there a little bit. Okay, and then on my lower part of my neck, I'm going to do dark. Now I'm going to color down my neck a little bit, but not as far as I did with my medium green. So I want some of that medium green to show. So I'm just going to keep it up a little bit closer. And it doesn't have to be a straight line when you color down on the neck. You can kind of just make it blend in. Like what I did was I just started coloring a little lighter when I got down here. So it kind of blends in with my other colored pencil and then I don't have that harsh line there. So I'm coloring harder here, pushing down harder up here by where the shadow would be and then a little lighter when I get down here and it blends it in a lot nicer there. There. And that's my dark. Well, I did want to make sure I get under my eye. There we go. So now we put that color aside. Now we're going to get our black out and add the last layer of our dark, of our shadowing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, and do even less black than I did my dark color. So I am going to go ahead and color in the nose because inside the nose, unless he's breathing fire, would probably be red, but it's dark in there. So I'm just going to color that black. So I'm going to add just a little bit of black here, still letting my dark and medium green show. And the same under here, I'm just going to color a tiny bit of black along the edge, just a couple, just a little bit. And then on my no, my um, uh, lines on the face, I'm just going to do a little bit of black, really close to my line. Like I'm just, just a couple of little lines of black there. All right, now I'm gonna do under my lower jaw, I'm gonna actually color now and color that where the, where the shadow of the upper jaw is probably creating that shadow on my lower jaw. So I'm just gonna follow the shape of my upper jaw so it has the same shape. And then it looks like it's creating a shadow on your lower jaw. Now with the teeth, the teeth are white, so we're just gonna color real lightly with black to create that shadow. And then it looks kind of like gray. And then it looks like it's a shadow on the teeth. And you can go a little bit darker, really close to the mouth. But may, the rest should be kind of like gray. There we go. And then it looks like it's creating a shadow on the teeth. I'm going to go ahead and color my eyebrows in black. You can color it a different color if you want, but I'm going to use black. And this is where you could color in the pupil of your eye uh, black too. All right, and so I'm going to add a little bit of on um, the horns, just a little bit of black on the back side, not a lot. 
I'm just going to color a couple lines there just to give it a little bit of darkness, like the darkest area. And I'm going to color in the corners of my skin flaps here between my horns, but I'm not going to color the whole flap, just that corner area. And then I'm going to get lighter and lighter when I come out and that'll kind of blend in to the dark green there that's on there. So start dark in the corner pushing down a little harder and then a little lighter just barely pushing down on your pencil to create that transition from a little darker black to a little lighter black. There we go. And then along the um, bottom of the jaw I'm just going to do a couple lines down here and then along the neck because those horns are creating a shadow on the neck. Okay. So with the black here, I'm going to color right up to those flaps. And the reason I didn't have you color the whole flap is because I want the flap to look like it's in front of the neck. And so I need to create that a light uh, that light green lighter green here against the black and that black's going to make it look like it's farther away and it's behind the flap. That's the re one of the reasons we did that also. So, and then I'm going to do up here on the neck. And now when I make my shadow on the neck, though, I'm only going to make it where the horns might be creating a shadow. So I'm going to kind of cre create the shape of the horns on the neck. And it doesn't have to be exact. It's a shadow. So it might be, you know, just off a little bit. That is okay. You just want the idea that the horns are creating the shadow there. So when I get here and I, I want to color my black out here, I'm actually going to make it round out the edges of my black a little bit instead of leaving them pencil, you know, jaggedy. I want to round them off because these are rounded and if they're creating a shadow, you want them to have that rounded edge. And there's that one sticking out. And that one there. There we go. And that's all the black we're going to add on our dragon. And now he's looking so much more real and standing out. Now the one, oh, his eyes. You can pick whatever you color you want to color his eyes. I'm going to pick orange this time. An orange color. And I'm just going to color in his iris, that orange. Last time I picked purple, but I'm going to do orange this time. Kind of like a reddish orange. That looks cool. All right. So the last step we're going to do is we're going to take our eraser and we're going to create some really light areas that are closest to where our sun is coming from. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and erase some of our colored pencil. Now we're not going to erase all of it. We're still going to be a little bit left on there and that's okay. We just want it to look really, really light green. So where the sun is hitting, I'm going to just on the very edge of his nose and underneath the lines. I made the shadow on top of the line. Underneath the line, I'm going to erase. And it's actually going to look like it kind of curves then if you, if you um, erase underneath that line. I'm going to erase along the edge and then underneath that line along the front of the horns. I'm going to erase. Just creating that lighter area. And then above the eye a little bit. Maybe on the nose here. Even on the edge above the nostril here. I'm going to come down along the edge. If you come along along the top of the nostril or right along that right edge next to where you added that shadow, his nose is going to look like it really sticks out then. That's going to create it look like it's curved in like that. And then all of his horns, I'm just going to touch, uh, erase that very top part. Opposite of where you put the dark is where you want to erase those lines or erase this colored pencil. And there you have it. Let's see, maybe a little bit more in here, just a little bit. And now you have those light and dark areas. 
And see how it looks with a Sharpie? I just drew that so you could see, but this is what it looks like without the Sharpie. I think so much nicer because you don't see the Sharpie then, you just see your light and dark areas and it looks really cool. And that is all there is to it. If you'd like, I'd love to see your finished dragons that you complete, complete and how creative you can be. So you can send me an email um, picture of your dragon. That would be awesome. I would love to see it. So thank you for joining me today. Goodbye.